Hello everybody, I hope you're doing well. My name is William. Welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. Today we're going to be flying the CJ4 using the working title mod, a fantastic mod, uh, for an FS Economy flight. We'll be leaving out of New er, Mexico, flying up to New Mexico for a short flight today, short hop in the jet, um, getting used to uh, just everything a jet has to offer really. I hope you all enjoy the flight. If you do, make sure to give the video a like and subscribe if you want to see more content as always. Let's go ahead and get on into the planning so we can get on with the flight. I hope you all enjoy. Start out here on the FS Economy page. This is an all-in flight. You can see by the type here, the A type and the aircraft tail number assigned to it. So this flight will pay us $4,954 upon completion. Don't have to worry about rental cost or anything for the aircraft. 550 nautical miles up almost directly to, towards the north, carrying five passengers. Uh, we're going to Las Cruces, uh, New Mexico. Um, should be pretty interesting. The uh, FS Economy has us flying the Citation 10. It's not going to matter. Uh, we are in the CJ4, and it is assigned to the Citation 10 in FS Economy. Hopefully, they'll add a CJ4 to FS Economy so you can actually fly as the CJ4. Um, and we can avoid situations like this with the uh, aircraft having 1,400 gallons of fuel on board and our CJ4 can only hold, uh, I think it's 860. So we'll be flying on full tanks for the flight today, but just five passengers for a pretty short flight and just kind of getting an idea of where we are on the map for the flight today. We're departing here um, all the way up to uh, Las Cruces, which is around El Paso. Um, uh, in New Mexico, I believe, uh, somewhere around here, I think is El Paso. I could be mistaken. Yes, there's El Paso airport right there. So, uh, pretty close to the, uh, New Mexico, Mexico border. Um, but just a little bit further up towards the North. So, uh, we're going to go ahead and get on into the aircraft now so we can get on with our flight. I hope you all enjoy. Welcome on board the CJ4, everybody. And you can see we got our flight already running in FS economy. Uh, our five passengers are loaded on board and time is running, but as it is an all-in flight, I'm not really too concerned about it. As long as we complete the flight within uh, the time left, that's all that really matters. So we are uh, good to go as far as the FS economy side of things is concerned. Um, we've gone ahead also and gone through and set up some of the stuff in the FMS and all that other, uh, all that other good stuff. So we should be ready to get out of here. We have runway 8 and 26 available for us today. I think uh, with the wind, it's uh, just like one knot. It's a wind calm. Uh, we're going to use runway 8 for our departure, and uh, we've already got something set up in the FMS as well. So um, we got our taxi light on. Everything looks good. So we'll, we'll go ahead and uh, release our parking brake, and we'll start our taxi on the way to runway uh, 08. As we kind of go through, I'm going to go ahead and turn the uh, flight director on. Um, we'll set a vertical speed mode, I think about uh, 2,500 feet per minute should work on the vertical speed mode for us today for our initial climb out, and then we'll switch over to a, um, a flight level change mode at some point pretty early on in the departure. Let's see, also the FMS uh, does give us, because of the working title mod uh, for our current weather conditions and how much uh, payload we have, fuel, all that good stuff, our rotation speed, it tells us it's going to be 106 knots. Um, we know in a jet that's going to happen pretty darn fast, so just uh, it is helping us out, but uh, we're just going to have to try and keep an eye on that. I am a complete and total noob when it comes to these jets, so we'll, we'll do our best. Um, hopefully not mess this flight up too bad. Let's come to the hold short marker. I'm going to kind of angle so we can see. It looks clear on the approach end over here. I'll just kind of glance out the left. It looks clear all the way on the left side as well. Uh, very, very nice visibility. Beautiful weather around. Uh, actually, before we go ahead and get out there, let's go ahead and get our landing light on, taxi light off, strobe light on and make sure our transponder is on, and it is. So we'll go ahead and take the runway. I think this is gonna put us right at about the thousand foot markers, so um, decently long runway. I don't think we need to worry about um, turning around or anything, or uh, going all the way 
uh, to the end here. I think we should be able to make it work with the uh, um, remaining runway available here. So we'll just turn on and line ourselves up. Got our flap set on takeoff and our rotation speed that we're going to be looking for right around 106. Let's go ahead and line ourselves up here on runway 08. And I will sync our heading once we're online here. We're going to stop. So we'll sync heading with current, activate or arm the heading mode. Now then let's go ahead and uh, just quickly zoom the map out just a little bit. Let's go power, release the brakes, keep that power coming in. Airspeed is alive. knots and there's 106 rotate all right we have a positive rate so gears coming up let's go ahead and get that yaw damper on before I forget go for 20 degrees nose up with a steep climb on the way out do this all the way up to a thousand and then we will nose back down, pull the power back just a touch, and we'll get our takeoff flaps in. Continue to hold right here, right around 15 degrees, and we'll continue to fly runway heading for just a moment. Look at that beautiful scenery. Out the uh, left, we should have coastline out the right, sure enough. Let's get back in the airplane so we can kind of focus here. All right, we'll go ahead and activate the autopilot. I have 36,000 feet set, or uh, flight level 360 set initially for our, uh, our cruise altitude. Let's go ahead and put it on to nav mode. Let it take over. Still doing uh, 2,500 feet a minute. I'm going to let it continue to build up some airspeed. Just take a look at this scenery. Beautiful clear day. So we'll throw it onto a flight level change mode here at about 2.30. Go ahead and just sync that up to 2.30. And we'll keep it right around here all the way up to uh, 10,000. I'm not sure what the transition altitude would be here, um, but in the U.S. anyways, 250 knots below 10,000 is your uh, speed limit, for the most part anyways. So we have nav mode armed, uh, well activated actually, so it's going to go back and capture all the way up to our first point. We can come down here and select this different um, uh, screen if we want. Not a huge fan of that one. Let's see. I think it, it must be that one, actually. Uh, this is kind of like the plan mode, I believe. Unfortunately, I don't think the uh, zoom mode is, or the zoom buttons are working. There's a lot more functionality with the mod, but uh, it's, it's still not completely there. And some of the things I've read, they can't quite tweak out. Uh, because it's it's more in depth in the sim, unfortunately, but for the most part, it is a huge improvement. You see the moon right there as well. That's actually pretty cool. I think that's the first time I've noticed the moon in the sim. Since we're coming up to ten thousand, we're going to go ahead and crank the speed up on the flight level change mode, but we're going to do it a little bit slowly. And 10,000 feet, we'll go ahead and get our landing light off. So we're at 240, so let's go up to 250. Look at those mountains. Beautiful departure here out of Mexico on our way to Las Cruces, New Mexico. So we're at about 12,000 feet now. Uh, you can see 
uh, this line here on our map. That is, if we kept uh, if we kept our current climb rate, which we will not, we'll lose performance as we uh, uh, continue higher and higher. But 3,400 feet a minute will get us at our uh, at 36,000 feet and a little bit over 40 miles is what it's showing. Totally different being in a jet. But uh, pretty nice, I'm not going to lie. So as we're coming up here through 14,000 feet, I'm going to sit back, monitor the climb, we'll check in at cruise. Just now leveling out at uh, 36,000 feet, flight level 360. I'm going to start pulling the power back here in just a moment. We're going to try and get our uh, speed up to, I think maybe about uh, Mach 0.72. You can see on our map right here, uh, we pull up this data. It shows us our distance to our next fix, and also you can see our distance to Las Cruces um, and also the time remaining. So we're uh, one hour and nine minutes out of our airport at the moment and as our speed continues to increase that'll probably come down a little bit but 493 miles we are dealing with a little bit of a headwind uh, 427 knots across the ground at the moment uh, but 36,000 feet is working out okay for us so we're almost up to uh, 0.72 start pulling that power back you can take a look out the windows here kind of sit up in our seat a little bit to get a little bit of a better view uh, from 36,000 feet, it is gorgeous, tons of mountains around, absolutely beautiful um, scenery. Um, I think I kind of found uh, one of the problems with uh, maybe our ability to shoot a uh, ILS approach or something in the aircraft. Um, for the life of me, I cannot get it to switch the source on here from FMS to NAV one or two. I thought I'd go ahead and try and get on top of it now uh, and see if I could troubleshoot that problem. I can very easily uh, switch the frequencies over on um, on our left side here, so VR1, and you can see now we're out of nav mode. We're in roll mode. Uh, I can go to uh, nav2 and it shows up as VOR2. We're still in roll mode. And then once again, back onto v um, uh, FMS and then we have to uh, rearm our nav mode and it's good to go but I cannot get uh, nav data or anything like that to work on uh, this screen if we pull up the lower screen um, it should be something I am able to change down here under uh, map SRC uh, from my understanding but uh, whenever I try and select the menu item that button doesn't do anything so um, we'll see I may be able to troubleshoot it, but I think we may try and just use an RNAV approach into Las Cruces or something if uh, if we need to. Um, but that's kind of where we're at, so I'm not going to worry about it too much. We're uh, in a jet cruising at 36,000 feet over some beautiful, beautiful scenery. So we'll get our head out of the menus, enjoy the views for a little bit. We'll be back whenever we're about to plan our descent into Las Cruces. some spectacular scenery we are flying over there. We are just about at our top of descent. You can see the little TOD marker there on our map and we are 51 and a half nautical miles from Beacon. Um, still showing 115 miles out of La Cruces. Um, I do have the RNAV for runway 1-2 uh, plugged in already and uh, we can see our next point here uh, which is just about 92 nautical miles is our initial approach fix for that. Uh, it has an altitude of 8,100 feet, so we'll go ahead and plop that into our altitude. 
uh, selector here and we will get ready and uh, start our way down. Um, we'll see if we can pick up the uh, weather information from La Crucis while we're in our descent. Unfortunately, I don't think we'll, we'll be within range uh, this far out, but we can certainly try. So we're going to start our way down. Uh, it's 8,100 feet. I think uh, 1,200 feet a minute right now. We need to pull our power setting back. Uh, definitely want to go ahead and do that. So we'll keep our speed 1,200 feet per minute for a moment. Kind of see, make sure uh, we get on top of our speed. That way we're not getting uh, a little, little too fast here. We're starting to go through a very high layer of clouds. First clouds I've actually seen on the flight so far. You can see the moon up there. Just gorgeous stuff out here. A wide range of scenery as well. It's getting more of a uh, more of a desert feel. Uh, we are coastal mountains, uh, pretty big mountain ranges. Now getting into a little bit more desert. We'll go ahead and uh, increase the rate of descent to 1,800 feet per minute. And if we really want to, we could zoom this uh, map out, if I can actually get it on the right one. You can see, if we maintain this ground speed, uh, we would be at 8,100 feet, well past where uh, we want to be at 8,100 feet. So I think we could safely go ahead and plan for 2,000 feet per minute. Uh, stay on this power setting. Uh, basically, we could bump it up just a touch. Get the aircraft back up to about 260 knots indicated. And start our way down. Cross our uh, cross beacon in the descent and try and pick up um, the weather from the uh, AWOS around that point. So we'll just continue on down for now. All right, we're just crossing over Beacon. Um, tried to plug in the AWOS frequency for uh, Las Cruces, which is uh, 119.025. Uh, but if I select it here, the last time I did anyways, I didn't get anything. So it's either not uh, the frequency in SIM or something along those lines. Uh, but that's straight off of the chart, 119.025. So uh, we're not going to be picking up any weather for our approach, I guess, so we'll just stick with uh, runway 12. Um, we are still uh, going to proceed on plan for that anyways. We're at 23,000 feet, going down to 8,100. Um, and then it will be our next fix, which is uh, Ipate, Ipit. I am not 100% sure. We're 8,100 feet at that one as well. And then we will proceed down to 6,600 and then 5,180 and uh, pull up the legs here and see those altitudes are already all plugged in uh, for their appropriate fixes. So we'll leave that up for a nice reference. I'm going to start pulling the speed back a little bit as we get closer to 10,000, but uh, we're just in the leg here now, 36 miles to our initial approach fix, starting our way down. Taking a look at the window real quick, you can actually see the field right there. Uh, that is where we are going to be going to. Um, pulling the power back now to try and get closer to 250. Uh, if we need to, we can put out the speed brakes, but I think we should be just fine. Um, just pulling it back a little bit more, trying to get on top of it. We don't have to be at uh, this next point at 8,100 feet, just at least uh, be above it. And then uh, 8100 really, we should be at uh, IPATE, and then uh, we can start our way down to 6600 from there. Uh, but like I said, those altitudes are already all in for us, um, and don't need to really be flying the approach. You can see how great the uh, weather is, but might as well try and get a little bit more practice in for us today. So uh, nine miles to go. On our way in, let's go ahead and get our landing lights on. And we are on 250 now. I don't need to add power, we just got to 250. It's still strange for me flying a jet with uh, that much power just at your uh, fingertips, really. I 
do think we're making the right choice with uh, Runway 1-2, even if uh, the AWOS wasn't working. Um, the wind is definitely behind us. It's about 16 knots at this altitude. It'll probably die off once we get down lower. Um, I was seeing that the winds were pretty close to calm, so I wouldn't expect it to be that crazy on landing, but uh, I'll take it. Look at the mountains out there, nice high clouds, great visibility. Always loved uh, driving through New Mexico. It's incredibly beautiful. Um, while it's kind of doing its thing here, I'm going to go ahead and pull the power back a little bit more. We're going to increase the descent just a little bit. We're going to go to the performance page, go on to approach. Uh, let's just go ahead and say 30 for the outside air temperature, and we'll go um, 1, 2, 0. We're just going to kind of guess this one at 5 just get it to give us a um, approach speed and we'll send that on over so that is complete all right so we're now let's see we are on our way to ipate uh, and we're still coming down to 8100 that'll be just fine As we get there, we're going to be looking for um, we're going to be looking for basically a 200 knots to get our gear down and our first notch of flaps. And uh, full flaps can happen at 160. I think since we're on the approach now, uh, we'll do it after I pay actually, but we could go ahead and throw it onto approach mode. We'll see if we get a glide slope on this one. We should, if we do, intersect it um, at Huxum, which is the point in between these two. So we'll get our speed down. We'll go ahead and select 6,600 feet in. But probably... and set our uh, speed knob to set it to 116 and just completely overshot it because I was looking the other direction. We'll set it to 116 and now then we will start our descent down to 6600 feet and we'll go ahead and activate approach mode. 6600 feet and let's get um, let's get down and also let's get configured for the landing here before too long. So we need to get below 200 knots, so keep the power out. You can see the airfield off in the distance. Even if we didn't need to fly the approach, I definitely do enjoy doing it varying degrees of accuracy at times, but looks like the winds dropped down. Zoom that map in one more. We're still descending. See how low we are getting over these mountains, how beautiful they are. Cruising right along. There's 200 knots, gear down. Wait for three green, there we go, three green. Go take off flaps out. Coming up on Huxham. Uh, no glide slope or anything, so I don't think we're gonna get it. Um, We'll set our altitude bug for uh, 5,200 feet. We're trying to keep the speed up for the moment as we cross over. We will now go down to 5,200. Just try and get on that altitude at uh, Wekvo.
pull the power out just as long as we stay below 160. Once again, taking a look around outside. Seems like the colors have kind of changed a little bit in one of the updates. The ground uh, just looks a little bit more vibrant. I don't know if that's just me. I wish it would intercept the glide slope. If um, the same bug is going on with the uh, these approaches, though, we'll intersect it at Wekvo. So I guess we'll see. But uh, I'm not going to hold my breath. It's not like we really need it anyways. Let's go ahead and go full flaps. And uh, we'll take over control of the aircraft at uh, Wekvo as we cross over, which it's already transitioned us on our I think so we crossed, but not quite. Actually, there is the glide slope. Sweet. So yeah, that same same deal. All right, so it's going to fly us in from here. Let's see how well it manages it and just get ready to uh, turn everything off, basically. 500 feet. We're right on speed. We come through 4,700 feet. That's where we're going to take over. 4,700. Alright, we are taking over and we'll be landing the plane here. center line kind of veered off feels like this runway is super narrow with the nose down nice and gentle and get on the brakes now decently hard alrighty so we will roll out find a taxiway to turn off on and go to complete our flight was a pretty fun one, absolutely beautiful weather, great for flying today. I've really enjoyed this one, really enjoyed flying the plane as well. This, this CJ4 is definitely growing on me quite a bit. I guess we're going to go full length because uh, I floated a little bit and I was a bit of a baby on getting on the brakes. Uh, we could have made one of those turnoffs for sure much earlier. Let's not turn on to the runway turn off at the end here. Put on the brakes a little bit more. Alright, we will turn off and go through cleaning the aircraft up once we get off. And cleared. Alright. We are clear, so let's go ahead and get our flaps up. Landing light off, taxi light on, strobes off. We'll get the transponder onto standby. And now then we will just taxi on down here to a hangar and complete our flight. I hope you all enjoyed flying along today. As always, I enjoy having you guys along. Um, if you did like this, want to see some more action in the CJ4, or uh, hopefully maybe I can Maybe they've made a mod, I'm not sure. Well, probably not, because the longitude is a, um, never mind on that one. Yeah, the longitude's one of those uh, uh, premium aircraft, so I don't think it's it's really moddable, unfortunately. But yeah, either way, if you enjoy the CJ4, let me know. Let me know if you want to see it flown a little bit more. 
I think it is growing on me a little bit. Maybe I'll have to pick up a uh, Citation 10 in FS Economy and, and start our own adventures with it. But doing these all-in jobs is kind of fun too. Just, uh, you kind of just get to go to a new area and um, start fresh and once you're done, you, you, you know, you can, you don't have to worry about refueling the aircraft or anything like that or maintenance, you're just done. So let's go ahead and get the client back up and I will set my uh, parking brake here. So now you can see the aircraft's location has changed to Las Cruces. Las Cruces, hard enough for me to say. Uh, we all know I butcher pronunciations anyways though. Um, but we are here on the ground. Flight is complete. As always, like I said, I, I enjoy having you guys along. Thank you all so much for the support. Uh, if you want to see more in the CJ4, definitely let me know in the comments below. If you did like the video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe, as always, if you want to see more content. And until next time, bye-bye.